All right, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to our fourth On Point Weekly Laser Training Series. Again, I'm here with Nigel and myself, Carl, and today we're um, really going to get into the rotating lasers in the last couple of weeks we've covered off on the line lasers. So we'll um, quick um, overview from last week today, and then the E60 rotating laser, then the I66R, and then the I77R rotating laser, then the following weeks we move through to the, the, the um, top end ones as well. So quickly then on, we thank everyone again for spending the, you know, your own time to come and learn. So obviously this quote here, spoon feeding in the long run teaches us nothing but the shape of the spoon. So we want to teach you more than just the shape of the laser levels today. We want to get you guys to actually have the time during this or after it uh, together as a team to really learn, take on what we teach you today, learn how to turn the units on, what the main functions are, how the battery system works. We really want to make sure that by the end of this series we've got to the point where we can match comfortably, you guys can comfortably match the right laser for the right trades application in every way, shape or form from the line laser through to the rotary. So hopefully that little quite helps you out, but we'll move through this and we'll have a bit of a challenge as we go along and let's learn something together. So we'll move on now. Right. so last week um, and the week before, we've been going over the line lasers. Um, if you haven't been on, you should all now have that an email sent through with the, the slides and, and the webinar. So you can go back and refresh on that. Um, line laser, predominantly an internal use laser. Um, they, most models, are available in a red beam or a green beam version. Um, just remembering again that the green beam, human eye picks up green four to five times better than red. So in lighter conditions, internally, a green you'll see a lot better than a red beam. Um, so for bigger jobs, larger applications, um, a green is prefer preferably the, the better choice. Um, a line laser is a fixed beam laser with a lockable pendulum leveling system. So there, um, the fixed beam, human eye can visibly see it. It's not moving, it's not rotating like a rotating laser, so we can see it better. And you can use them for small outdoor applications with the optional de detector. Um, now this is, now as we mentioned earlier in the last couple of weeks, a line laser can be used outside but just make sure that it's predominantly internal use. So for small outdoor jobs, yes, you can use it with the receiver, but it's not ideal for large applications outdoors because the accuracy isn't as good as a rotating laser. So we'll jump into the rotating lasers. We're gonna start with the E60 kit. Um, now the E60 is the entry level rotary, rotary laser. Um, it's basically the it's more for your DIY, your handyman, a guy that's not going to use a laser every day. So it's more um, smaller applications externally. Uh, it's a self-leveling laser, horizontal only. It's got a 300 metre diameter range. Um, very, very easy to use, just a one button function. So you just got your power on um, and then your high alert button. So the high alert button, which all our lasers come with. So once the laser's got itself level and spinning, if you um, activate the high alert button, what actually happens is that if that laser gets a bump or a knock, so we'll just activate this now. Trust you can see a little bit. Um, so the light flashes, you bump that laser now. The laser won't turn back on now until you've either turned the laser off and on again on the, on the power button or deactivated the high alert button. Um, so it's basically a safety feature. So say if you're on site, um, someone's walking past, knocks the tripod and your laser is moved, it might only move a very small amount on the tripod, but over a long distance, so say 300 metre diameter, it could move quite significantly. So it's something that we always do recommend that you use that high alert button, it is important and we have got it, it is um, on all uh, on all rotating laser models in the IMAX range. Um, so another <clears throat> really handy thing about the E60 is it comes in a complete kit, as you can see down the bottom of the screen there, that's a complete kit with a tripod, staff, 
um, laser receiver, so you got your um, dual face receiver, just an up and down basic receiver, and you got a three metre staff and a smaller tripod, but it's all it all fits into a hard plastic carry case. So it's ideal for when, when you finish using it, you can pack it up and you can put it away and it's all there in one place. So that's why it's really good for your DIY handyman, bricklayers, farmers and those sort of, those sort of trades. Um, three mil accuracy over 30 metres, a three year warranty and a calibration certificate. So if you've got any questions on that one, chuck it in the Q&A and we'll, we'll answer them when we get there. All right, so now we're going to move more on to the trade um, targeted products. So with the I66R and the 77R. So these units um, will point out a couple of like, um, features they all share, and that is that it comes, they're all fully self-leveling again. They run, rather than run on the AA battery system or the E60, they all run on the 9 amp hour lithium rechargeable battery system. So on a three and a half hour charge, you'll get to four hours, you'll get a 40 hour run time out of your red beams. Now you, the battery's in the in the clutch handle, so you can put it in there, and the unit then can be charged out of the, out of, the battery can be charged out of the unit, so on a USB-C charge. Very easy, so you can charge it off, you know, out of the USB in the unit or whatever you've got as well. So with this model on the 66R, then again, it's the one button function, it's got your high alert, like Nigel just mentioned as well, turn it on, they'll allow the unit to level up. No level within a five degree accuracy, so if you're out of that point, the unit will just continue to um, flash, it won't actually start to spin, so fully self-leveling. Then you'll have with this unit, your two millimeter accuracy in 30 meters. With the um, receiver with this unit, you get the LRX6 receiver, which is a German made millimeter receiver, an IP rating of 67. So this unit, it's got, it's a 50 mil pickup band, but then you can actually use it so you can actually see how many mil you are from your datum point there, it's hard to see on the screen, but this is one thing, if you've got it installed, get it out and have a play around so you get a bit of understanding on, on this unit and how handy this little section is. So, And then you get dual face in the back so you can actually see what your measurement is when you're using it out in front of yourself. So that's the receiver you get with this, with the LRX6. So great for your um, general concreting, and general building and set out work and basic earth moving. Ideal for just jetting level horizontal only again. Um, it doesn't have any manual um, grade function, which we move on to the 77R, so I'll explain that now. So with, this, with the 77R, again, it's horizontal only. You've got a 600 metre diameter range over against the 400 metre diameter range you get with the 66R. You now have the manual slope mode to five degrees, which we'll explain it more in a second runs the same battery system, same USB system. Now with the receiver though, with this unit, you now go up to the LRX10 receiver, which this unit is giving us the um, a larger pickup band. So it's got your 90 mil, um, 95 mil pickup window, which gives you a lot more pickup when you're out on site. It also then has down to half mil increments. So rather than just measuring the one mil increment or the two mil increment or five mil like the LRX6, you can then run this on a, a one mil, a half mil, one mil, two mil, five mil, and 10 mil plate. 10 mil ideally for like the earth moving sort of guys are just getting a general site, a site level. So great for the builder, the concrete that needs to do a slope on it to do a bit of grade and earth moving as well manually. And for some plumbing and drainage. The accuracy of this unit is 1.5 mil in 30 mils. Use a bit of a different leveling system than we do in the 66R. So, with this unit, then to explain a little bit on how the um, the slope, the manual slope works, this slide you can see now. We'll send this out at the end of this recording as a as a um, actual PDF, which you can download. Great thing to actually take it, print it off, read it. It's a fair bit going on on this screen. Good idea. Limited limit on anything. It's actually a good idea to print it off and put it on the, if you've got a display installed, put it on, on the display yeah. so it helps the end user actually be able to understand the slope mode a lot better because it is a bit confusing for a yeah. lot of people. So. so with a manual slope, it's going to be used for the guys that aren't using slope and grade all the time. If you've got the guys using that grade all the time, we've got the unit for that, which we'll um, go through next week. So, so with this unit though, if you want to set a say, as you can see up on the screen there, you've got at a 1% fall, you're looking at 100 mil in 10 meters, so 10 meters from the unit to measure out. 
you get the unit level, it'll turn, it'll level itself up and start the spin, and then you activate the slope function, as you can see below the 77 there, where it says there, onto the Y axis. Now the 77R is a manual slope on one axis on what we call a single grade, as you can see in the bottom left there, on the actual single grade. The next model ups will do the dual, the dual slope. So this will go on the manual on the, on the Y axis, so it'll slope on the Y. It comes with the remote control to set your to set help set your grade. So that way once you're level, you've got your slope function on your on your actual remote control. Hit your slope function, set your receiver at the desired amount down or up, and then use your arrows the same way. So it actually brings the unit down. So as the unit will come down here, it will it'll go up behind so that it sets the fall. So Hopefully that's making a little bit of sense. It's a bit of a hard one when you can't get your hands on it, but if you've got a unit to play with in, in store or next time you've got one you know, coming through, please make sure you get it out and have a bit of a play so you understand how that slope function works. So once it's in the slope function, it won't cut out, so you have to get it to the unit level, all right? And then that also deactivates the high alert as well, so it's doing the opposite as such. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of clarity, but down on this page, you've got your difference between degrees and your grade as well. So a bit of confusion can come into that as to what am I doing a percentage or am I doing a grade? So if there's any questions, seriously, any questions, a good question, we want to throw them at us. What do you mean? And if, you have to, if you have to give us a call to clarify this, more than happy to call, give us a call in the office or give your, your, your rep a call um, and we can clarify it. And if you've got any other questions, questions or you want any further information on this let us know too send us an email and we can see what we can yeah. get through to you the other thing just to mention too is we're also doing up a little video on each of the rotary lasers that'll be on our website which will go through how this slope function actually works in each model so with what we just discussed on the 66 a as its basic part up to the 77 r how to set the, the slope as well so they'll also at the end of this series they'll also then company on our website, so on a resources page you can go back to, so any new staff coming through, any refresh, you've got that on hand as well, so just keep that in mind that we've got that happening in the background as well, so. Right, well, Q&A, we've got some questions coming through, um, some really good questions, there's one there, will the E60 take rechargeable batteries? Now, the E60 is four double A's in the back. Um, and so alkaline batteries, but in saying that, they can be used with rechargeable, you know, the double A rechargeable batteries you can get. You can't charge them in the unit, obviously. You'll have to charge them in a um, the little holders that they that come with them. But yes, you can use those style of rechargeable batteries in the E60 if needs be, but it's not something standard. The, the reason behind the double A's in the E60 is the E60 design for the guy that um, isn't using them all the time. So it may sit in the shed for three months. So if you put a if you put a um, nickel metal high drive rechargeable battery pack in that and you sit in the shed for six months, discharge. it will discharge itself by sitting around. So then what happens is you'll come back in and to use your laser again and the batteries aren't going to, they're going to be flat. So it's going to be really inconvenient. So that's why we put the double A's in and we do recommend you take the double A's out before you put it into storage so it doesn't leak. Yeah. Um, another question has come in, uh, the um, 66 and 77, are they water resistant? So we have an, an IP66 <coughs> rating on these units. So with the IP66, yes, can take a little bit of a splash, but there's the most imperative thing is that they don't get it packed away in their box if the box, if the case inside's wet or the actual laser is wet, as water will find itself into some unusual spots, which could be a little, can be a little bit costly. So yeah, ideally, please make sure that the, the units are dried and they're looked after. End of the day, we always say it is an instrument, it's not a hammer or a hand saw, so just keep that in mind. Um, one question's come in, can we call if you have trouble explaining something to a customer? We're only a phone call away. It's a great question. So each one of us, you can get us on the mobile, you can get us in the office or all the reps on the online. More than happy to talk to the customers and you guys will learn a lot out of that as well. So we'll help ask those right questions, which you get in the little green book as well. How to ask, that's the right questions to get to the right application. So we'll do that in practice and it'll help you guys really understand that as well. So yeah, by all means, only a phone call away, please do so. That's a good, that's a good one.
another good question about how many batteries come in the 66 and 77 rotary lasers. So, great question because at the moment we're in a transition period. It originally was one battery when we, with the I series. Um, we're just going over now to having the option of having two batteries in it as standard. So you'll have you'll have two batteries, two um, lithium rechargeable batteries with each laser. So this this will come into play in the next month or two. They'll start coming through the stores. So great question. Now just to mention on that, but the unit will then you'll charge the battery. The only way to charge charging the battery directly, and that way then it also has helped us with people in the industry and, and a lot of wet conditions, there's one less way that any water or dust can get into the unit, so that helps us with the other question we had, so. Um, one question there, can you show us the um, receivers closer to the screw and the differences? So, I'll just turn them both on here. So you give between the LRX 6 and 10. So what you'll see is you've got on the 10, this section here is the pickup band. So the difference in the length of the pickup bands, you've got a 95 mil and a 60 mil band. And then on the on then on the reverse is the same though. Is that that tells you what measurement you've got up and down those on the LCD screen on the back. So hopefully that just explains it more. So you've got your sound and where you change it as well. So you've got one installed. Go on. You have a play. Have a play. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. All right. Any more? Like... We answered all the questions. Um, it's more. If you've got any more questions, send us an email. Um, info at imxlasers.com.au, or yeah, give it give us a call. Happy to help you out. You guys are confident that yes, you can go out there and yes, you want you want to have the discussion with the customer lasers and just feel confident where we've got your back. We're here to support you along the way. As that question came in, yes, please give us a call. And again, thank you for taking the time out of your day today to join us today live. And uh, we really enjoy um, seeing you on next week. So we'll be on. We'll see you guys on next Wednesday at 10:30 a.m. Have a great day and a great week. All the best, guys. See you later. See ya.